Wow. Okay, guys, this is the Bentley EXP 100 GT concept car. I'm going to take you around this beauty because this is something, or well, the features on this are something you've never seen before. What's up? It's Supercar Blondie. Give us a quick like on the video, subscribe to the channel. We've got so many amazing cars coming out. First of all, take a look at this. This has 6,000 LED lights just in the front here. And what they've done is they've fused the headlights and the grill together. Seriously, like it looks like something from Stranger Things, how it's all kind of coming out and fusing together and everything. It looks amazing, doesn't it? EXP stands for experiential 100 to celebrate 100 years of Bentley and GT for Grand Tour. So let me take you around the back. Actually, before we do that, take a look at this. Doesn't that look like shark teeth on the edge here? Come around the back. Look how long the car is as well. This is basically to celebrate um, the heritage of Bentley, so what they've, what they're known for style-wise over the last hundred years, and also to look f to the future. So what is going to happen in 100 years from now? And this car is looking to about 2035. That's what they picture to be on the road in that year. Around the back here, you'll see this whole part here is a curved LED screen. You can actually put anything on here. It doesn't just have to be these lines. You know, you can put your name on here or anything because it is actually an LED screen. In all, they have 10,000 LED lights on the whole car. You know how when we talk about electric cars in future, yeah. there's a lot of talk about how we're going to personalize them when it comes to sound. What, who's going to compose for the car? What kind of sounds will they make? Because obviously it's not going to make any kind of petrol engine sound. What's interesting and what they've done here that has not been talked about much is how you can personalize your cars in future with lights right they are looking not just at sound but also light personalization so at the front you can have a light show that is yours and yours only no other bentley can have the same light show as you do so that's quite an interesting little thing that they've they've added to this car these are all sustainable materials this is actually recycled copper right here because they think that chrome elements will probably be banned in future on cars so what they're doing is they're looking at other materials to get that kind of pop and they've gone for aluminium here and then recycled copper and just take a look at how massive these wheels are 27 inch let's take a look inside there's so much going on in this car okay let's uh let's open her up see how it kind of comes out first like this and then this whole side of the car is going to open up. That's how big the door is. Look how massive this door is. It's like a wing. Looks like it almost could take off. If it was this way out. <laughs> Come on in. I'll show you around the interior here. So. Um, there's so much going on in here because, of course, this is what they picture the future of driving to be like. I'm going to pop into the driver's seat over here. Okay. So these crystallized areas, right? This is all crystal underneath here. And then a glass surface over the top. So this is actually where you would interact with the car. You would be able to, for example, plug in the destination. And this one over here, you'd be able to lower the windows or put the windows up or just completely interact with the car. The other thing is they have capsules. So because there is no engine in the front, the front is storage. So what you can do is on your journey, put in various capsules and those capsules will come out here. And what I mean by capsules is one capsule could have like your lunch, like a sushi, sushi lunch. Another capsule could have a little mini bar that comes out. So as you're enjoying your journey, these little capsules can come and be delivered to you on this like kind of little sushi train here in the front. There are two modes, autonomous for the future. Those of you who don't want to be driving and you can just experience or just to have an experience going from A to B. This steering wheel will go in and this seat will move back. This will actually retract into the back of the car so that this seat can go all the way back just like this one is right here. 
So you can have these two seats in that position. Or if you've got passengers, you can move this seat forward and the bottom of that back seat will come out and so you can fit four passengers that way. This one here, this is a like a water canister. So this would kind of like a little filtered waterfall the whole time going around and around. These materials are quite interesting as well. This right here, this wood, guess how old this is? This is carbon dated to the year 3300 BC. How crazy is that? So they're using all of these materials that otherwise wouldn't be used. They're being found and usually just burnt or thrown out. So they're trying to reuse all those materials. This here, all this stitching. So this is all done by a company who does uh, the uniforms for the Queen's guards. All of this over here, look at this, these lights running through the material, behind the material. Look how intricate all of this stitching is over here. This right here, this is actually feeding air into the back of the car here. They're trying to give the passengers a full experience of the outside while you're inside the car. So say if you're going through like, I don't know, somewhere that smells good, like a poppy farm or something, something like that. The, the, the smells of um, the environment will come in through the car and actually be fed then all through these little you know, lines here in the roof so that you can get like a full sensory experience as you are driving around in the car. Yeah. This material here is quite interesting actually. This is like vegan leather. So what they do is, you know, when you're uh, crushing the grapes to make wine, all of the leftover pulp from the grapes, it's usually just thrown out. What they've done is they've used that then to make leather, like a fake leather. And that's what they're using here to run along. I mean, it feels, feels pretty much like leather it's quite quite cool all of this as well it's um where is it copper oh here the wood you see how it has like these lighter lines going through it that's all copper dust that's been infused into the wood so there are lots of little details here um, that you don't often get to see on cars today that they've really thought about it and this here this would actually move forward and act as a desk so you can, I don't know, put your laptop on it and do some work if that's what you want to do. So that's, that's the interior. It's massive, isn't it? Super spacious. Celebrating the last hundred years and looking to the next hundred years. I mean, look at everyone who's got their phones out. This is something you rarely, rarely see, something this special. Massive thanks to Bentley for allowing us to get this exclusive look at the car up close and personal. All right, for now, I'm out. Love you guys.